Las Vegas' tourism industry could use some good news. Unemployment is sky high here in the Valley. Fewer people are visiting. This morning, Park MGM announced plans to reopen, which is a positive sign. But it's reopening with a twist as well. Bianca Holman is live from the Las Vegas Strip with Park MGM's decision to go smoke-free. Bianca. MGM Resorts announced that the casino and hotel will be smoke free when it reopens. That's all areas the pool, the hotel, and the casino area. And we spoke with people here on the Las Vegas Boulevard. We got mixed reactions. Some were against it, but the overwhelming majority are for the change. Now, when the property reopens, guests will have a new experience. The park, MGM, and Nomad will prohibit smoking. One of the hotel executives says guests have been asking for a non-smoking property for a long time. Other additions include COVID-19 safety measures, enhanced cleaning routines, including the use of electrostatic, including uh, electrostatic sprayers and disinfectants, social distancing, contactless check-in. And of course, we spoke with some smokers off camera. They say they'll just stay at another resort, but those who don't smoke see it as a great option. I think that is so fantastic. That's one of the things I've really hated about Las Vegas is having to walk through all this toxic air. I'm fine with it, being a mother, period, to come somewhere like this and still have the option of going somewhere where my kids wouldn't have to be bothered with smoking. It would be great for me. Now, Las Vegas has tried this before. Back in 1991, Silver City switched to a smoke-free casino. It closed eight years later. There are other hotels on the Strip that are smoke-free, like the Vidara Suites, and there are these properties that don't have casinos. Now, the reopening of Park MGM is due for September 30th. Reporting from the Las Vegas Strip, Bianca Holman, 8 News Now.